This is a little video I've done for you about using the remote controls here at Hillsville with the TV. There's a Sony remote, don't worry about that too much. It does control only the TV, um, but it can be used for troubleshooting. The little sound remote, that's important, with the orange button at the top, we'll find out about that. And the volume controls are on the right. The main one's the fetch remote, which operates the fetch box, firstly, which is that box in the cabinet with the blue light on. But it also is a TV remote once it's enabled. So firstly, the fetch box must be on. That blue light in the cabinet must be on. If you hit the on off button on the fetch remote, that'll turn the fetch box off by uh, turning that little light red. Press that button again to make sure it's a blue light. And then that's fine. Pressing the, the 1, 2, 3 button on the left hand side of the remote will put on the lights and immediately turn it into a TV remote and then it turns on the Sony. So the TV is going, the fetch is going. <clears throat> Once the fetch is going you use the centre of the steering wheel to start the TV guide. Choose it again to either Go left or right to the apps where you want Netflix or, or any of those apps or recordings over on the left or straight into the TV guide again with that center of the steering wheel and then just arrow up, arrow down and just choose the channel you want. To turn on the sound, which is really important, just use this little soundbar uh, remote the orange button pressing that will put the lights on the soundbar and then the sound will come on to turn everything off like at night or when you're going just turn this into a TV remote press that button and press the on off button and it'll shut down the TV you don't have to worry about shutting down the fetch box it'll just sit there with the blue light on that's it. If you do have any troubles, uh, you have to call me. <laughs> Bye.